Here to take us through the French press is Florence. Hello, Hi, Florence. Now, we're going to start off with reactions to the IMF's annual report. Absolutely, and depending on what your political affiliation is, well, you're going to have a very different reaction here in France. Let's take a look at the front page of Le Figaro, so the right-leaning newspaper that says that the IMF urges France to reform. So Le Figaro points out that, well, in this annual report, the IMF said that France was riddled with rigidity and at this at its structural level and this is why france is losing its competitiveness according to le figaro so yes france needs to reform especially its pension system and its labor market but this report also said that france should ease its deficit or reduction to sustain growth and so a lot of the left leaning press is greeting. This is very good news. If we look at uh, Libération, for instance, they have a very different interpretation. Uh, and they say, yes, what the IMF is saying here is, well, that France should have perhaps a little bit less austerity. Uh, so um, this, what the IMF is really saying here is that France should reduce spending rather than increase taxes. But Libération points out that a lot of left-leaning politicians are, well, they're, they're kind of patting themselves on the back here. And they're saying that this is proof that there's been somewhat of an an ease or a softer approach by uh, that's being recommended uh, by the IMF. Uh, and so, as you can see, two very different interpretations here. OK, moving on to another story. Now, here in France, uh, it's been uh, illegal for a few years now to wear a headscarf or any other kind of uh, religious symbol in public schools. And some people are wanting to extend that ban now to higher education. That's right. There's a report in Le Monde that goes into detail. And why is this coming up now? Well, it's because the High Council on Integration has is issued a report that recommends extending this ban uh, to actually higher education, to uh, les facs, the uh, universities uh, here in France, because it's been banned in, well, public schools for minors since two. 2004. Now, the council says that this ban would be in line with France's secularism, laïcité, which is written into the constitution. And so uh, Le Monde really goes into more detail. Basically, this report says that uh, the headscarf and other religious uh, symbols, uh, well, they're actually quite self-discriminating. They mean that uh, teachers have a hard time teaching uh, and they create tension. But uh, according to Le Monde, a lot of Muslim students feel like they're being singled out here because though the ban would be on all religious symbols, what's really being talked about here is the headscarf. Uh, and they point out that, well, other religious groups, whether they're Catholic or Jewish, are very active in French universities. So why are they being singled out? And there's an interesting article in Aujourd'hui en France that points out that a lot of administrator, uh, administrators and authorities within the universities here in France actually don't want there to be a law on uh, headscarves. And they say that it's not necessary. They say that the situation is actually a lot more peaceful than the High Council on integration makes it out to be. Uh, and they point out that the 2004 ban was very controversial, but it was concerning minors in, in, in uh, higher education. We're talking about adults. And also, universities are a place where there should actually be a battle of ideas. And according to one authority from a, a university here in France that's quoted in Aujourd'hui en France, they say there's not a rise in uh, religion, but a rise in intolerance against religion. Now, we're going to stay with Aujourd'hui en France because it's got a uh, report, a special report, on a French uh, national who's fighting alongside rebels in Syria. That's right. It's a really interesting article in Aujourd'hui en France. His, his name is Kalen. He's uh, 34 years old and originally from Marseille. So uh, he's a mercenary, or as he likes to call himself, a private military contractor who's been working in Aleppo for about a year now. Now, before then, he, uh, he was working in uh, other conflict countries, uh, whether it's Ivory Coast or uh, Libya. He's working for a French company. And uh, he describes the missions that he's been carrying out over the this year, well, very various missions, whether it's protecting people, getting people out of the country, getting things, objects, valuable objects out of the country. Uh, he's also been helping uh, journalists and training soldiers. Now, he says that in the last couple of months and weeks, the situation has really gotten out of hand. He says it's very chaotic and, well, as soon as his contract is over, he'll be leaving. Very brave man. Now, uh, to wrap things up, we're going to look at the Figaro, which taking it, which is taking a closer look at a special trait of certain mammals. That's I'm intrigued. right. <laughs> what does that mean? That is a monogamy. <laughs> Why are certain mammals monogamous? Now, uh, this is because, according to a recent study at the University of Cambridge, nine percent of mammals are monogamous. So, sixteen percent of carnivores. 30% of primates. Why is that? Well, according to this study, the main reason is to protect females and the offspring. And these were uh, kind of behavioral patterns that stuck with certain mammals. So, But what about us humans? Uh, well, uh, I Le didn't Figaro dare say it. <laughs> points out that couples are, well, 
the norm in most societies, but this is because of cultural reasons and not biology. Uh, and it points out that faithfulness is a question of education and personality, not of biology. And it points out that actually monogamy is actually changing as our societies change. And according to Le Figaro, we are on, on our way to becoming serial monogamists. Mm, I can see this being a very uh, heated debate in cafes across the country. Thank you very much, Florence, for taking us through the French papers.